Hello, true believers and Shred Eye Knights Assemble. It's me, it's me, it's your buddy Kevin D. And we're back here with the season finale of this first season of Lick of the Weeks. So we got 15 in all. And after this one, we'll catch you down the road for a future season of another 15. Take a little break for this holiday coming up. Uh, today, my partner in crime is this wonderful Marshall DSL-40. It is, again, one of the most popular backline amps on stages all over the world. Um, you'll see them behind all kind of name players on television and on stage. Um, if uh, you'll forgive the gratuitous plug for a second, I'd like to let y'all know that uh, the store has copies of both my books from Alfred Warner Brothers here, uh, IntelliShred and Arpeggio Madness. Uh, y'all come by and uh, check these out. And if anybody wants anything silly signed in them, I'll uh, be happy to oblige you when I'm here. Um, this week's lick is a fairly shredderific uh, legato sweep sequence that moves linear up the first and second strings in E minor pentatonic and then we do a, a five note grouping that we're going to drop down for three octaves a pentatonic symmetrical pattern if you will again we'd like to thank all you folks for watching these and sharing in the silliness passing it around the interwebs and everything um, I hope everybody is uh, in good health and happiness today. I hope you're all really having the, the very best day possible. I hope everybody had a happy Halloween. Y'all stay shredalicious, and we'll catch you down the road in Season 2. Thank y'all so much. All right, boys and girls, what we got here is a pretty shredderific pattern in E minor pentatonic, everybody's favorite. Um, what I'm doing here is actually something somewhat inspired by Andy Timmons. You'll hear a lick very similar to this in a descending sequence in his song Deliver Us in the key of D minor. But for today's lick, we're in the key of E minor. Now, I'm starting out here with just a little bit of a stretch in the fifth position on the B and the E strings. But I'm going to do something, instead of playing up a consecutive set of, the, uh, 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 of notes in the scale, which you see more from like maybe a guy like Paul Gilbert, I'm going to do a little bit of a unique roll here, I think, in that we're going to go 5, 8, 10, and we're going to roll on our pinky finger up into this parallel kind of double stop at the 10th position, but we're going to upsweep it and get two separate notes. So I've got a down, a hammer, a hammer. And then this little mini up and pull back down. I could play just the descending half actually with the up sweep. So this pattern has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes, and then I'm legato shift sliding to the next position in that eighth fret on my first finger and hammering right back up again. So the only time after the first downstroke that I'm attacking the string really other than the double up is, well, it is just the double up. So I'm shifting five, eight, ten, sweep, pull, shift. Now I'm at 10, 12, and 15 with that double up on the 15. And then I'm going to wind up in box one here at 12, 15, and 17. And then I'm going to catch a five note group, including the uh, flat five or the blue note. I'm just going to take that little snippet and I'm going to drop it three octaves. And then answer that and end it with an E. And then the hero being 15th D to the root. Tag it with E5. And that's the lick. Stay shred delicious, y'all. <laughs> 